Happy New Year! Del Mar College is installing a new process and instrumentation pilot plant on the West Campus. It will serve as the state-of-the-art working model of a distillation unit commonly used at local refineries. Once completed, this training facility will include a 32-foot tall tower with associated instrumentation. This is one of the new and exciting things happening at Del Mar now. I'm Amy Mintz, Associate Professor of Child Development Early Childhood at Del Mar College. The Del Mar College Interim Chair of the Technology Education Department, Laura Wright, is here. She'll tell us about some of the programs she oversees. The Interim Dean of Business, Industrial, and Public Safety Education at Del Mar College is also with us. Chuck McKinney will tell us about this new pilot plant. And we've got a Del Mar Now update presented by students in the radio and television program. We've got a lot to share with you on today's show. Don't go away. This is Del Mar Now. Our first guest is an assistant professor of architectural drafting and the interim chair of the technology education department at Del Mar College. She's been with the college since the fall of 2011. She holds a master's of architecture degree and a master's of science degree from Texas Tech University. Please welcome to Del Mar Now, Laura Wright. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so as interim chair of the technology education department on the West Campus, you oversee quite a few programs. Can you tell us a little bit about those programs? Um, well, as uh, interim chair of technology education, I oversee eight programs, uh, including the architectural drafting technology, <laughs> which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but I also oversee uh, aviation maintenance, avionics, auto body, automotive, diesel, um, air conditioning, and building maintenance. Wow, sounds like a busy day. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so quite a lot of offerings in for students in that, in that sector of degrees. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so you mentioned architecture and drafting technology. Can you tell us a little bit about the types of courses um, that would be offered in that program? Well, architectural drafting technology is actually made up of three uh, program areas. Okay. Uh, one being architecture itself. Mm -hmm. Under architecture, we have an architectural uh, drafting uh, degree in associates degree and we have a transfer associates of science degree in architecture which is your first two years of a professional uh, architecture education and uh, the other program areas are uh, technical drafting which is like pipe drafting machine drafting that sort of thing it also encompasses a lot of our structural engineering type of courses and then our third program area is construction technology, which is uh, courses in construction management. And a lot of these courses overlap in one, uh, or programs overlap in some way, shape, or form. Um, they all require AutoCAD and, and some of those CAD uh, skills, and um, as well as management skills. We're trying to push um, those leadership and soft skills that make our students so much more successful out in the business world. Definitely needed, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so you mentioned some completion degrees, but also some transferable degrees. So what job yes. opportunities do students have upon graduating from Del Mar College? Well, what's great about the building industry is there's so many different aspects. Um, personally, I came from industry. I am a licensed architect, and um, I uh, have practiced in an architect's office. I have uh, worked for uh, higher education for many years as the owner uh, for Texas Tech University. Um, I have worked for a contractor in a design build firm. I have worked for um, an engineering firm, an interior design firm. So I've seen all aspects. And what's really great about this industry is you can find your niche, what, it, what uh, works with you, what you like. You know, there are those people that um, my forte was project management. So I loved overseeing those big construction projects and um, working with and putting the teams together and working with the various teams to build the building. Um, but you can go in and be a draftsman. You can be an on-site field supervisor, um, a project manager for the contractor, the engineer, the architect, the owner. Um, you can uh, 
be a construction administration person, you can do drawings, you can do design. You can, there's so many avenues. So you can, behind the scenes, the beginning of the scene, the process of it, so there are really a lot of different avenues. But there are a lot of avenues, and that's why we stress the project, ma or the more the management the leadership skills, because no matter where you go, you're going to find, hey, I like doing this, or, uh, you know, when you start out as uh, an intern or fresh out of college, um, and where you're working, you still learn a lot in the field, and that's what uh, is great about this industry, is there's the education, and then there's a the hands-on experience mm -hmm. uh, learning that you get, that you can't get in, in a classroom. So um, there's it, there's just so many different aspects, and you kind of get um, immersed and uh, exposed to so many, and then you find, you know what, I really like this area, or you can change and go this area. So with this degree, it really is quite flexible. You mentioned a lot of the hands-on experiences, and I know that uh, Del Mar College works uh, well, building partnerships with a lot of different community agencies and, and resources. We've got new plants being built. We've got pilot programs coming mm -hmm. onto campus. So, I mean, can Del Mar students expect a lot of hands-on experiences while also getting that classroom-based knowledge? Yes. Um, a lot of our classes and lab courses are that hands-on, but we also have a very strong relationship with a lot of our partners and practitioners uh, in the industry that they come, they participate in the program either through uh, juries, guest speaking, serving on advisory committees, um, as well as we have a lot of students, uh, we have internship classes that places them in the industry so they get an I idea so of uh, hopefully what Hopefully won't they're be getting. too scared of upon graduation. Yes. They've got their feet wet a little bit. Yes, okay. and uh, our job placement numbers have been pretty successful. That a lot of our graduates have jobs and they're really happy, and we still talk with a lot of them. So That's great news. We're talking about a lot of different programs, and I hear that there's already a new certification program that's yes. that's available. So, um, digital design and fabrication. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that, or how long does it take to earn this certification? Well, it's it's uh, 33 credit hours. You know, it really depends each student and what they can handle their own personal workload. Um, you can do it in anywhere between three to four semesters, and depending if you want to take classes over the summer or, or, or how many classes you take. Uh, but it's 33 credit uh, hours total. And uh, what's great about this is we have a strong pr manufacturing presence in the, in the port. And this particular degree looks at product design. And it looks at the different types of fabrication and manufacturing processes, different types of materials. It also teaches students how to take a, an idea, a concept from the beginning, and how to develop it. And, um, it, and turn it into a project. And and it's not just the invention itself. It's also about uh, how to make it successful with marketing it and, and, and putting together a, a basic business plan. So, um, but the excite, uh, exciting part about it is, you know, architecture is about building design. But this one goes in, you know, even this mug was designed by somebody. And uh, your cell phone case was designed by somebody. Your automobile uh, was designed by somebody. And so this takes a look at all of those types of things. So so it's more design on an abstract basis, but it, it incorporates the use of computers and digital design to help develop all of these different things that we use every day. Sounds very practical. Yes. Actually. Where can someone get more information about the technology education program? Well, um, they can contact us on the West Campus. We're on the West Campus, Easy Air Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can come and uh, see us in the main office. We have plenty of advisors in the Emerging Technology Building. Um, if you want to learn more about the architectural drafting technology, you can go to uh, www.delmar.edu uh, uh, slash ADT. Okay. Well, thank you for chatting with us today. Thank you. Uh, students in the radio and television program are next with a Del Mar Now update. After that, we'll meet Chuck McKinney. He's the Interim Dean of Business, Industrial, and Public Safety Education. Stay with us.
I was earning college credit before I even finished high school. Today, I am. Go from I dream to I am. Eligible high school students can earn Del Mar College credits at little or no cost. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Get Del Mar College information right in the palm of your hand using Viking Go. Viking Go is Del Mar College's mobile app full of useful college information you can access on your cell phone or tablet. Choose from 13 active modules from the menu. You can even access Del Mar College social media feeds. Viking Go is available on Google Play and the Apple App Store for your phones and tablets. Stay on the go with Viking Go. Start using Viking Go today. Hey you! Yeah you! Getting that college education? What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else? Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts? Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you gonna make of yourself? What are you gonna make of me? Welcome to this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Garrison Thompson. And I'm Brittany Claremont. Registration for spring semester classes is underway at Del Mar College. Early advising and in-office registration will continue through December 18th. Online registration will reopen on the 19th and continue through January 4th. Tuition payment is also due on the 4th. Del Mar, Del Mar College will close at 12.30 p.m. on December 18th and reopen on January 4th for the holidays. Spring semester classes will start January 19th, the day after the Martin Luther King holiday. Students who have more than 24 credit hours may go to WebDMC to register. They may also check their financial aid status and pay for courses while online. New students under 21 will have to show proof of meningitis vaccination prior to the first day of classes. The construction labor market analyzer says that the construction industry will need more than 2 million new craft professions in 2018 in the U.S. The Coastal Bend is a part of the growth with 35 to $40 billion of new industry investments underway. An additional $9 billion is expected in the next five years. Coastal Bend veterans interested in the industrial construction work have an opportunity to, learn, to earn credentials via Del Mar College. The free fast track and CCER program offers two stackable credentials required for participants to continue their education in any craft area they choose. The program is accredited by the National Center of Construction, Education and Research. Del Mar College's program includes an 88-hour core curriculum. To participate in the program, three dates are available as to start the courses, December 7th, January 11th, and February 16th. For more information, contact Dara Bettis at dbets at delmar.edu. Or you can go online to the website at delmar.edu forward slash NCCER veterans. A special inaugural dual credit course was offered this fall for students at Ingleside High School. Principles of Automatic Control has 11 students enrolled. The dual credit course under the auspices of Delmar College has four industry partners, Oxy, Flint Hills Resources, Kim Wires, and Chenere Energy. The partners contributed a quarter of a million dollars for the purchase of special lab equipment. The Ingleside students held a showcase earlier this month to demonstrate what they've learned. The students assembled an equipment kit that simulated industrial plant operations and processes used at local refineries. Included was manual measurement of pressure, level and flow, as well as an introduction to automated control technology. The dual credit program can work toward a level one certification as an industrial instrumentation installer. An endowed scholarship has been given to Del Mar College. Texas Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa presented the Board of Regents a check for $15,000. The gift in the name of the Senator is to help support Del Mar students living in his legislative district. Senator Hinojosa began his campaign to raise funds for several scholarships rather than try to raise funds for a Governor of the Day ceremony in Austin. The Senator raised $130,000 for students attending colleges and universities in his legislative district. 
Governor for a Day is an event honoring Texas legislators who are serving as the presiding officer of the Senate during the lieutenant governor's absence. A film festival featuring over 150 films from around the world was featured on the campus of Del Mar College. The festival, from November 30th through December 6th, included 11 world premieres, 33 U.S. premieres, and 68 Texas premieres. The festival was under the auspices of the South Texas Underground Film Festival, which has sponsored smaller venues in the past. This year, the films were shown on the Del Mar East Campus, the House of Rock, and the Art Center of Corpus Christi. Organizer of the film festival, Robert Perez, says there were 2,300 films submitted from 83 countries. The festival took place at the start of finals week, and Perez says in the future other dates will be considered. Most of the presentations were shown in the Rotama Room of the Harvin Center. The final three days had longer features shown in the Wolf Recital Hall. The festival was free and open to the public. The festival featured documentaries as well as animations. The 17th annual GIS Day has been held at Del Mar College. The National Geographic Society has promoted geographic literacy in the schools and communities since 1987. Geography Awareness Week was from November 15th through the 21st. The Coastal Bend GIS Day has, was held at the College Center for Economic Development. The free event provided greater awareness to students and educators what involves GIS. The technology encompasses computer-based mapping tools that use information from databases about locations such as streets, buildings, as well as water and terrain. The technology allows users to see geographic features on map and provides better understanding about specific locations. Planners, analysts, and other users can make more inform informed decisions regarding their communities and industries. That's this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Garrison Thompson. And I'm Brittany Klima. Stay tuned for more Del Mar Now. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. Plan your next event at Del Mar College's Richardson Performance Hall. Our facility accommodates conferences, concerts, religious events, and private parties. We have three lounges, balcony elevators, and a convenient drive-up drop-off. For productions, Richardson Performance Hall has more than 1,700 seats and is outfitted with staging, rigging, lighting, and sound capabilities, plus many patron and performer amenities. Book your next event at Richardson Performance Hall. We create dreams one event at a time. For more information, call 361-698-2228. Your dream of higher pay is within reach. With some HVAC technicians earning up to $28 an hour, employers are hiring. And a certification from Del Mar College is exactly what they're looking for. Go from I dream to I am. Get started today at delmar.edu. Del Mar College, dreams delivered. For more information about Del Mar Now, log on to www.delmar.edu slash now. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions to help us improve Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. Our next guest is the Interim Dean of Business, Industrial, and Public Safety Education at Del Mar College. He's also a professor of build Building Maintenance Applied Technology. He joined the college faculty in the fall of 1994. He earned an associate's degree from Del Mar College and a bachelor's degree from Corpus Christi State University. Please welcome Chuck McKinney. Thanks for being with us today. Well, it's a pleasure. Okay, so we understand there's a petroleum processing and instrumentation pilot plant being built on Del Mar College, the West Campus. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Well, it was actually built on a site in Louisiana in, in, in a skid format, and then they delivered it on, I think it was about the... 10th of December, okay. I'm sorry, November, and um, they're, they're now doing all the plumbing, the electrical, everything related to that, and um, 
it's it's a full scale petroleum distillation unit. It um, it's a it, it allows us to deliver contemporary training and in, in a very safe industrial format, and um, it allows us to, to deliver some relevance to what they've been learning in the classroom. Okay, so is this the first of this kind in this area? As far as I know, this is the first first one in South Texas for sure, and I, I know of one plant that's similar to it in, in Suella, which is in Lake Charles, and they're they're getting great benefits from that in their process program, and and we've we've made multiple visits that it, to that area and and looked at how they're doing it and viewed some of their curriculum, and and we hope to do some similar things with our students here at Del Mar. Okay, we're talking about linking it to curriculum. Are there any other reasons why Del Mar College needs this pilot plant here, or is it for instructional purposes? Well, it's, it's, it's really beneficial to just about every program that we deliver at the college. We have, a, we have a safety program related to OSHA. We have an instrumentation program that's under process technology. You, get a, you can get a certification in industrial instrumentation under the process technology associate degree. We also have a millwright program, which is, if, if you don't understand millwright, the term millwright's an older term, but it's, it's, very, it's a very good term for, for identifying what they do our millwrights in South Texas are, are now really referred to as industrial maintenance mechanics. They operate and work on just about everything that rotates in a plant. If it moves a gas, air, water, any type of liquids, our millwrights would be the type of person that would work on that. And that would allow them to, to work with that pilot plant, the instrument guys to work with that pilot plant, our safety guys to super that, supervise that to make sure the work is done safely. Uh, this pilot plant could be tied to other programs as well. Uh, one of the big things that's, that's, that's really become prevalent in all the refineries now is permit writing, where they, just, they identify all the safety hazards, they go in and, and uh, identify all the things that have to be done to work this safely, identify all the trades that might need to interact with each other in what order and what not, and it just allows everybody to work in a safe manner. So it sounds very multi-purpose um, pilot plant, actually. So it's really great that Delmar College has this. Wh where did the funds come from for this? It sounds like it's a big deal. Well, for us, it's a very big deal. It's an opportunity that we've we've never had in the past. Um, we've um, we we received a lot of monies from people in the port industries, the Type A board, which is, a, is part of the entity here in Corpus Christi that grants monies to different industries, and uh, we we received that grant and uh, other industry partners stepped up and, and allowed additional funds for that. And it's just, and then the Delmore Foundation participated in it as well. It's just a really great opportunity for our students to benefit from, from industry and to really recognize, I'd like to really recognize the partnership that industry is taking with us and, and, and how they've stepped up and really moved towards Delmar College in delivering these, these type of opportunities. All right, so it sounds like there may be a very certain sector of students who are going to get to utilize this. What, what majors or what degree programs would have access to this pilot plan? Well, we had our, our industrial process technology program would be one. Industrial instrumentation would be another. Uh, our industrial rotating equipment specialists, which is the Millwright program, would be another. Um, our safety program. Um, those are the main ones that would interact with this on a fairly regular basis. Okay. And it's our hope that all of them would work together as a team with all the trades interacting together. As a real um, Just as refiner, if were, you know, we're all working together. That makes absolutely. a lot of sense. In a refining atmosphere, you, you have to be a team. Everybody has to check off on what's going on. Well, you know, there'll be lockout, tagout procedures observed and, and other safety-related procedures observed. And it just gives us an opportunity to create some really contemporary training in a, in a setting that can be controlled and safely operated. Okay, so you mentioned it was actually built elsewhere, but it's been relo it's been relocated to Delmar West Campus. Where exactly on West Campus is it, and how large are we dealing with here? It's a pretty good sized plant in terms of in terms of a piece of training equipment. Mm -hmm. Most of our training equipment happens inside of a room, sitting on a table, and things like that. This guy here's. It's my understanding it's going to be like 38 feet tall. There's going to be cages to climb up in and, and, and allow the students to get used to climbing, almost the equivalent of a tower uh, at a much shorter scale, of course, but it's still an opportunity to get some real-life interactions and with some live equipment, and we can train them in the safe operation of that equipment. Okay, so coming soon, West Campus then. <laughs> um, a person who graduates from these programs that you mentioned previously, what kind of job opportunities do they have out in the community? 
Well, there's there's many opportunities. It, one opportunity would be, you know, contractors coming into these plants to work is work turnarounds to be qualified to do some of the work related to these turnaround jobs. Um, refinery operations. You can uh, students would go out and they'd be an outside operator in a lot of cases, get an opportunity to go in and interview for those jobs. And our refiners have really expressed a lot of interest in getting access to our students and. Um, that would be another. Uh, our instrumentation guys would have an opportunity to help build a plant like the Chenier plant that's coming in, or the MG plant that's coming in, or TPCO, or Ostapina, and some of the others. It's just a, it's just a great opportunity for a for a student to come in and learn a very valuable job. It pays very well in a very in a very quick pace, and to get them into these jobs to replace some of these people that are starting to retire and also to help build all of these plants that are coming out. I mean, we have a lot of operators out here that have 25, 30 years of experience or approaching retirement age. And this opportunity for these students to come into these plants, learn from these guys before they leave, is a great opportunity for our students and a great opportunity for the community. So the jobs are out there and this Del Mar pilot plant will help get them ready for them then. Absolutely. Okay, where can someone get more information about the process technology and instrumentation technology programs at Del Mar College? Well, you can contact my office at 361-698-1701 or 1740. Either one of those will get you to somebody that can set you up with uh, advising or to discuss anything related to that program. Um, we can put you in contact with the instrumentation faculty, the millwright faculty, and uh, the process technology faculty. Okay, great. Well, Chuck, thanks for talking with us today. It's a pleasure. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have questions or comments about Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. We'll be back in February with an all-new show. We hope you'll be watching. Until then, I'm Amy Mitz for Del Mar Now.